Prosecutors believe Robert Durst was planning life as a fugitive. Breezy living on the beach in Galveston. A new town, a new start, a new person. The millionaire real estate heir trading in his tailored blazers and cufflinks for high heels and lipstick. Prosecutors say Durst's new life on the island included laying low as a mute woman named Dorothy Siner, blending right in with the local LGBT community. Or was he? So we'd skulk around all the gay bars and hang out, and nobody knew what his deal was. Those in the LGBT community tell me Durst became known as the ugliest drag queen on the island. I mean, it was like blue eyeshadow and some red lipstick, and that was it. I called it a day. That's Claire Schuler, better known as CC Ryder. She's been wowing crowds as a female impersonator in Galveston for over 20 years. She was the one Durst attached himself to. I was very intrigued about makeup. To learn how to be a lady. Makeup tips, and he used to give me $20 tips. <laughs> Schuler says Durst, aka Dorothy, wanted help. And he wanted to know what dress to wear, how it how it can you know conforms and you know to your figure, your shape. Do you wear hip pads or butt pads or you know what do you use for, for bosoms? Because he really wanted to pass as a real woman. Schuler tells me Durst wasn't a larger than live crossdresser. He was very quiet, private, and actually ran from cameras. And if people would walk up and say, hey Cece, let's get a picture of you know, hey, uh, you know, when he was dressed up as a woman, take a picture of it. No, he said, no, 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 no pictures. Schuler paints the picture of a shy, curious businesswoman. Schuler says all the other quote queens knew Dorothy was the wealthiest among them. You know, business suits, whatnot, nice dresses. I mean, he had the top of the line. This was his humble home, a boarding house on K Avenue. It's become a popular tourist attraction. My family lives in Dallas, and when they come down, they want to see Durst's house. This is also where police say Durst slash Dorothy became friends with Morris Black, whom he ended up killing. Prosecutors say Black knew about Durst's secret life as a woman. Schuler says Durst slightly let his guard down for him, allowing the whole mute facade to sometimes fade. I do remember him talking to me. At the time, did you know that this was Robert Durst? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't want my head floating out in the ocean. <laughs> Arrested in New Orleans on weapons charges, police believe Durst was once again headed for an undercover life, trying to escape questioning. This time in the murder of his friend, Susan Berman. Police found him with a mask, but no wigs or lipstick. Good Lord. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh my God, this man's not done yet. <laughs> I said his career's going to outlast mine. <laughs>